Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I've been asked to do a tutorial on how to make the half sheet Fobo Nietzsche or uh, the equivalent to the Happy Notes half sheet notebook or planner. I have several videos already up showing how to do the micro disc. I have one up showing how to do this micro disc notebook. I have one showing how to do this classic planner. You could also use it as a notebook. Um, how to do the cover and information about the inserts but mainly how to do the covers. So I'll link those videos in the eye above and in the description box below. But for this video I thought we would do something a little different from laminating and use a Dollar Tree cut mat. These are they come two to a pack. So I have two here. It's from the Dollar Tree. Here we go. Here's what the packaging looks like. So it's two pieces for a dollar. Um, I don't remember one side being shiny before. I think that might be something that's new that I don't really care for. I wonder why they would do that. I mean, it's okay, but I really prefer the dull side but I guess that gives you an option on your cover if you want the shiny or dull so anyway so I decided that we're gonna work with this so I'm gonna get my my notebook out because this is a little different you don't have to allow for the the laminate and all of that just move these out of the way So I'm going to take that off. So instead of having to cut our paper the size of the paper that's inside of this piece of laminate, because when you laminate, you have to leave excess around the edge. So that also has to be calculated into the size of the cover. Since we're not doing that, we're just going to calculate the size. I hate to take this off. <laughs> we're just going to calculate the size directly. Let's just do this. I know a lot of people like to take things and measure and do it that way without using a ruler, but I prefer to use a ruler because what if you don't have this to use as a guide? So let me get my ruler. Okay, so let's just measure this. So we're talking about five inches. by nine and three quarters so five inches wide nine and three inch, nine and three quarter inches tall and I'm gonna use my old trimmer so that I don't mess up my uh, my good paper trimmer this is, was my first one so I want to cut off these rounded corners because I don't want my corners rounded that big I'm gonna go with a smaller round so I'm gonna trim that off first that's about a half an inch to get rid of that okay. so now we have a clean edge to work with so we said five inches wide Then nine and three quarters inches tall. Nine and three quarters. Okay, so I need another one because we need a front and a back. So five inches wide. Three quarter inches. Okay. Okay, so we got our two pieces. We have very little 
excess. We could probably use this to make a micro. Let's see if it's wide enough. Yes, it is. This is a real micro from the Happy Planner. They were calling them keepsake journals back when I first found out about them. So this is three and a half. Ooh. By four and a half. So let's see if we can make this three and a half work. We can, we just won't be able to use the very end. So let's go ahead and cut off this rounded area, that half inch of rounded or so. Okay, so we got that off. Now we're going to do four and a half, did I say? Because I think it's already three and a half. Let's make sure. Yeah, it's already three and a half. So let's do the four and a half. You're going to have to hold that with your hand instead of trying to use the bar to hold it in place. Okay, so yeah, that gives us very little waste. Still have another sheet, so you should be able to get a half note and a micro out of one sheet. So, this is scraps. Let me put this back on. So, I guess at this point, you need to decide if you which side you want to be the front, the outside. And you can go ahead and use whatever corner rounder you have to round your corners. So I'm going to use the quarter inch. I prefer a more subtle round. That's why I don't often use the half inch. I just prefer the smaller one. This is my hobo notes, it's what I call it. It's a cross between the Hobonichi and the happy notes. Hobo notes. Some people call it Fobonichi or Happy Nichi. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a happy Nichi because not it's not actually made with all happy planner pieces. So okay, so we have our covers which are hard to see on this background, but you get the general idea. Okay, you can do the matte finish. Then all you need to do is punch your holes. And actually you could use these to protect your laminated covers also. So I know a lot of people don't like that the laminate gets scratched. So they can also be used as a protective cover. So I need to center this in a way it's not going to give us too many punches. Let's see if the Happy Planner Punch will punch this. Let's just experiment real quick. I am not confident in this punch at all as to what it will punch through. Yeah, <laughs> I think that would be a problem. Let's stick it in there and see. Yeah, see. Right. So now I gotta dig that out. This is why <laughs> I always say I don't want to use the Happy Planner Punch. Everybody says, oh, it'll work, it'll work. No, it doesn't work for me. If I don't, I don't feel like I should have to jump up and down on this thing to make it punch. That is 
a problem to me that I would have to do that that I have to do this yeah okay I'll fight with that on my own time I won't waste your time fighting with it so that's a no <laughs> I'm really glad I didn't stick my good um, pieces in here let's go ahead and do this one first the micro because it's less complicated at least I think it is we're just gonna center this between um, the punches where I only get four punches you can put it where it's gonna be five so you'd have to be careful not to do that you just want four for a micro so and I but I put both sheets in here at the same time and I've got it lined up like I want it and now is punch easy peasy let's put some discs on I got some black ones some black ones right there let's use some hot paint so here are my micro discs put these in here or maybe we should do like a rainbow look hmm since that seems to be all the rage should I put green or purple let's do that okay so then and boom you got a notebook ready to go fill it up with your inserts and you're off to micro world <laughs> I don't know you got a micro planner um, again you can you could also use one of these covers from Mystic's Little Gifts. Put your notebooks in. Um, I have this one, which was because of these white discs is why I wanted to make this type of uh, cover. Because I thought it would look really nice on the white disc. And it actually does. So I'll probably make another one just for the white disc. But let's take this off for now. I really want to um, fill these up. Okay, so let's put this back and move on to this one. This is a little more complicated because of the way the size of this we only need how many punches I think it's nine two four six let's see two four six eight nine punches let's see the problem is I'm gonna show you if I can see if I can demonstrate with this is if I center the paper here then these two punches on the end will also punch part of my um, cover. So I'm going to do one at a time because doing two was a little much. So if I center these here, see they fall a little bit under those punches. And that's, we don't want that. So what I'm going to do is use my Happy Planner one as a guide. If you don't have a happy notes you can use the classic to do this with and if you don't have a classic there are templates available on my website for the classic cover and the classic inserts where the holes should be punched you can use one of those to line up your art punch if that's what you're using um, so I'm just going to place this on here because I don't want to get out a template and use my let's move this up so you can see what I'm doing um, use my blue 
flare. Hopefully this will come off. I mean, if Sharpie comes off, this should come off, right? Okay, to mark where the holes need to be. And let's see if we can make something happen here. So what I'm doing is curling these up on each side so that they don't go under the punches on the end and still making sure that my blue dots are lined up and they are everything looks good so I'm punching so that's how I was able to get around um, punching through the end pieces let's see here's my other piece let's do that again I didn't draw dots on this one but let's see if we can I'm not gonna risk it <laughs> I don't want to risk it. Let's draw at least a couple of dots. Okay, so we got it in there. Okay. So we're all punched. Again, you'll have to decide if you want the shiny side or the matte finish side. And this would fit over this as a cover. I'm going to pop it on just so you can see. So like a translucent cover protection for your cover. Or you can use it to make your own notebook. Let's try some more um, different color discs. Okay, so there's that cover, and then here is the micro version. So that's it, and I will come back to show how to do the laminated version of the half sheet. But I just wanted to show you that you could use these Dollar Tree um, cutting mats to make your cover. It's very easy. Um, if you don't have a arc punch or a mushroom style punch, there is a way to do it with just a regular hole punch and your scissors. And I'll leave a link to the video where I demonstrate that as well. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.